Today I want to talk to you about a book idea that I'm really excited about. Hello home bosses, my name is Nouria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel, which is all about helping you to make money online. And as you know, on this channel we talk a lot about creating low content books like planners, journals, notebooks, that kind of thing and also children's books and I'm always looking for new ideas for books that we can create to make an online income and uh, the reason I'm making this video is that there is a new software coming out, a new app that helps you create a particular type of book that is really, I mean it's to me it's it's right up my street, it's exactly what I would love to do and I'm going to show you the type of books that I mean in a minute but before that I wanted to show you something that is very dear to my heart and it tells you a little bit about myself when I was younger and uh, basically I really enjoyed drawing when I was younger and I found a file of mine <laughs> recently it's here where I kept all of my drawings from when I was about 17, 18 years old and uh, as you can see, I it's all in German because I grew up in Germany, that's where I went to school and I used to love drawing, I used to love to draw and all my classmates used to ask me to draw them things. I'll show you the inside of the file a little bit. So I've laid the file on the tables for you to better see what I have drawn and uh, yeah I used to draw a lot of girls and uh, dresses and sometimes like in this case a city, uh, different styles of girls and children, there's a school girl. I think I was around 16, 17 when I drew this and uh, I wanted to go into fashion design but in the end I did graphic design instead and uh, I tried to draw little things like uh, little comics as well and the one thing that my classmates always used to ask me is they they used to ask me draw me a girl <laughs> and then I used to draw them in different dresses and uh, in different situations so that's something I used to have a lot of fun with drawing and uh, designing things and uh, there is oh a map of Spain 1974 so I was 10 years old when I drew that one which tells you how old I am now <laughs> And that was in 1982, so I would have been 18 then. And uh, there's a little rabbit and a hedgehog. So I used to draw all kinds of things. And uh, the one thing that I was uh, best at, I think, was really drawing girls. And uh, I think that's why I wanted to go into fashion design. And I think... My style changed over the years. I, I designed different, uh, different dresses for different eras. Like I designed a lot of 1930s style dresses, 1920s. Um, oh, these are some of the other types of drawings that I used to do. And uh, I was also very much into nature and ecology. So... That was another thing amongst all the pictures of the dresses. I also did little cartoons. And there's two more girls. So, oh, Big Ben. So I must have known that I was going to live in England one day. <laughs> and yeah, but I, I really gravitated towards the fashion design. As you can see, uh, most of them are really different dress designs, different kinds of um, types of people. There's a lady looking out the window, lady in the rain, sitting on the floor, another one with a candle and a cup of tea. And these are more my fashion design projects where I try to design a lot of different styles of clothing. You can see this is all very 70s, 80s type of, of fashion, which is what it was at the time. And that's what I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed the fashion side and also the cartoon side. So I could also see me 
becoming a cartoonist or something like that. This is the kind of thing that I used to do when I was younger. I used to love drawing. And what I used to do is I learned just by by drawing, by copying other things and by by trying to to draw in a certain style. And I used to buy a lot of learn to draw books. <laughs> learn to draw books are books that I'm going to show you in a minute on Amazon. And they're really good if you're learning to draw and if you love drawing because they show you how to draw step by step. So that's what I enjoyed doing. I still love drawing. I have also done oil painting. So I try to to paint with different mediums, watercolors, oils, acrylics. I try all different types of things. I just enjoy it. And that used to be one of my hobbies. And I was hoping in the future, when I was younger, I was hoping to do something that was to do with art when I grew up. Life doesn't work out like that. You end up doing different things. But I'm so glad that I found Amazon KDP because that kind of allows me to bring all those skills back and it's just uh, my dream job at the moment. <laughs> but I'll show you some of the books that I found on Amazon that are learn to draw books. So let's dive into that. Let's hop onto my screen. So now we're on Amazon and I'm just going to do a quick search and I'm going to type in learn to draw books. And before I click on it, I just want to show you the drop down to see what kind of niches within the learn to draw books come up on Amazon. So you've got learn to draw books for adults. You've got learn to draw books for seven year olds. So this means that children's learn to draw books are further categorized into different age groups, which makes sense. Learn to draw books for teens. So I'm sure there will be lots of sub niches. So let's see what comes up. And here we are, learn to draw. This is one of their best sellers. Uh, it's priced at $13.40 a paperback. And that's number 3,546 in books, which is really good. So that's a very low BSR, which is what we want. How to draw. So there's another one and uh, the rank is also 3,600. So they are very good BSRs, 8,060 for this one. This one here is only 816. So they're making quite a lot of sales, these books. And if I scroll down, there's more. These are the type of books that we can create because they're simpler images. They're aimed at children, but you could make other types of books like that. And I've got so many ideas and I want to share that with you later on. So this one, as you can see, has got a BSR of 262 books. So it tells you here that they make about or between 230 and 408 sales per day, which is about $1,200 in royalties a day. I always take these figures with a little pinch of salt because I don't think, I don't know if they're that accurate. To be honest, I don't know. So they could be accurate, but even if we half that, I think that is still a really good figure to make and I, th I still think that is um, that is excellent when it comes to sales. So there's more books like that. There's one here, How to Draw Animals. It should be animals rather than, that's a spelling mistake. So that's not very good, but even regardless of that, it's still making a lot of sales. Then there's Drawing for the Absolute Beginner. There's lots of these kind of books, but it's not a book idea where there isn't any scope to add more books because the one thing that I can see is that they're not very niched. So, so there's a really good opportunity for us to come up with some good niches and I've already got some really good ideas. So here's one that's niched down, how to draw faces and portraits. So that's a good idea to niche down and concentrate on a particular type of drawings. This one hasn't niched down at all, how to draw everything. <laughs> but they're still making a lot of sales, so that's quite good. And here's an, a really nice one, the how to draw book for kids. And this is by Modern Kid Press. Modern Kid Press have got a lot of these kind of books. They have created a brand around those books. So that is also a really good way to make good sales with these type of books. 
I'm sure you want to know what these books look like inside. So let's see if we can find one that we can take a quick peep of. Let's click on this, how to draw 101 things for kids. And I'll try and get the look inside. It's not always easy. I find I always have to click twice on this. I don't know if any of you have that problem. Let me know if you do. And uh, here's the how to draw 101 things for kids inside and it tells you here what's inside i like it when people create really nice introductions to their books like the first few pages should explain what your book is about and how to use it so this one tells you what's inside animals plants foods items and sports so now they're showing us what you can draw in this book and i want to see if they've got an example then you they've got some tips which is always a good idea and they start with animals, fish, so there's a, a practice um, thing, so they're, they're telling you to start with this curved line, and then you create another curved line underneath, so they're telling you step by step how to draw this fish, and for a child it would be quite easy to then recreate that, they have to start with the first line here, and then create the other one, and so on, step by step, so quite an easy way to create a book. Now, of course, the difficulty is how are you going to create this book? And there are different kinds of learn to draw books. Some of them have got a grid where you, and this is how I learned a lot of my drawings, how I practiced. You draw what you see in each grid, and I will be talking about that more in my next video. I just wanted to show you very quickly today what this is all about, and uh, because there is a software coming out, as I said, that will be launching very soon and uh, I will be promoting that software because this is something that I really like to use and that has really been a big part of my life in the past. So if you love drawing or if you would like to create these kind of books, then the launch of the software is going to be quite exciting for you. So as soon as I know more, I will be talking to you about that and letting you know the all the details, all the ins and outs, and uh, where you can get this software. But I just wanted to show you this niche. You could, of course, create it yourself. You would have to maybe manually draw all the different elements, or maybe you can find some way on Canva to create it. But of course, if you have a an app that can do this for you it's so much easier and like i said i mean the good thing about this is there are so many niches i can think of because how to draw is just the idea of the book they're how to draw books but the the really exciting thing is how to niche down so as with any book idea it's the way you present the book the niche you choose for that book that is ultimately going to either create a lot of sales or maybe not create so many sales so i will be talking about how to niche down this type of book i can think of a few examples right now off the top of my head and one example would be to obviously create this kind of book for children and then you have the different ages that you can target so very small children would be very very simple how to draw examples and uh, slightly more complicated for older children but you can also concentrate on the type of drawings you create so you could make a book to to just learn how to draw animals or to just learn how to draw um, landscapes or how to draw people that's always a really popular one and the scope for this is immense because if you can make books like that, this will then create uh, opportunities for people to learn to draw their own black and white line drawings where you can then make colouring books out of. So there is a lot of scope for this type of book and I'm really excited about it because it's the kind of thing that I really love, which is drawing and anyone that is artistic and loves art and uh, anything that you can create with that and which you can then turn into books that is a really exciting topic for me i hope to tell you much more about the app and make some more videos about 
the niches that you can explore. I'll let you know all the details that are coming up for this. So I hope you enjoyed it so far. I hope you enjoyed seeing my drawings and what I used to do as a teenager. Let me know in the comments what you think about it so far. Would this be something that you would enjoy creating, learn to draw books? Or is this something that you feel is not really that relevant to you? Let me know your thoughts and uh, I'll see you again very soon in my next video. Bye bye.